Welcome again, new business prospectors. I'm Keith Smith of The Fuel, the new business podcast, and we've got a supersized double-decker edition of the show this week. I get to interview Steve Chiliotis of the Centre for Brand Analysis, and it was so good, we had to do it twice. TCBA is the company behind super brands, cool brands, the brand relevancy index that we all love to read. And in this show, Steve talks about why some CEOs don't think branding matters, the need for agencies to develop emotional selling points, employee branding, and how it needs to be in lockstep with external branding, agile branding, the effects of Black Lives Matter, Me Too and climate change on branding, and guess what brands Steve thinks are set for massive growth over the next few years. To listen to the full interview, visit www.thefuelpodcast.com, brought to you in association with The Advertist, the new business platform for the creative communications industry. Here's a preview of the podcast. Well, I think there's lots of different examples. I mean, what I would say just generally is that, you know, most of the listeners, most of the people working in the industry, we know that emotion works. OK, there's right. lots of data from Gallup, from McKinsey, from all kinds of people that show even Bennett and Fields work for the IPA, that emotion works. Right? Sure. We know that because people buy emotively. Right? 90 percent of our decisions as people is based on system one. It's that fast, intuitive, subconscious thing. We don't sit there rationally going, oh, let me just have a look at lots of different factors and evaluate all the brands against them. Right. Um, so, you know, for me, emotion is the most important thing. Um, I'll give you some, some not necessarily new examples, but ones yeah. that hopefully people will know because then it will hopefully make the point I'm trying to make. Um, if you take personal, dirt is right. good. Okay. If they'd have just kept going on in their marketing as our washing powder cleans your clothes, well, how is that different to Ariel? How is that right. different to Dad's? How is that different to anyone else? You don't create a strong brand or a distinctive brand or a brand that you know, stays in the memory by just saying tangible things about what your product does. Um, so by suddenly talking about dirt is good, they were talking to the parents who were buying predominantly the product about the fact that, you know, their kids could go out, they could be a bit dirty, they could play. It's an emotional thing that parents, you know, could connect with. Right. But the subliminal message is still, of course, the tangible message. It doesn't really matter if they go and get mud all over them because it'll get clean with Purcell. Fine. And um, so by just bringing in that nuance of emotion and playing with it over a period of time, it just makes them stand out or like Dove. Um, campaign for real beauty again they could have easily just harped on about our products moisturize really well and they're ph neutral and etc cetera, etc cetera. but it's like well well you're a skincare brand of course your mm -hmm. products moisturize and of course they don't screw up my skin that would be that would be crap wouldn't it you'd have a crap <laughs> brand and a crap product but if you just say that alone it's like well so what Mm. So I think, again, by, in this case, Unilever talking about something beyond that and trying to resonate with the buyers on a different level, um, you know, they haven't always got it right, should be said. Right. Um, but by generally talking <clears throat> on a different level, they stand out and they distinguish their brands. And again, great new brands do that as well, like Airbnb. They uh, yeah. could just, you know, they could easily just go, we've got loads of places everywhere. You know, they could talk about mm -hmm. functional things. It's really easy to use our app. But instead, they talk about belong anywhere. Yes. And, you know, a lot of their campaigns are really emotionally resonating. And I think, again, it just makes you like that brand more. It appeals to your humanity. It stays in your mind. Um, and it just distinguishes you from another brand that might just be talking about something very functional Right. That, let's remember, can almost certainly be copied by everyone else and is probably a category hygiene factor. 